Welcome to the TBA6 training series. This video will show you how to do a present value calculation. Present value calculations are common for doing lease accounting regulations. You calculate the present value of the lease to capitalize the asset. For settlements to determine what the future cash flows is worth today. In the note industry to determine the value to purchase uh, or to sell a note. For banks and credit unions, they require to do a net present value calculation for trouble debt restructuring to determine the allowance amount. And to value privately held notes, you can calculate the present value based upon the AFRs. So let's do a case. Let's do a settlement example. We'll have annual earnings of $100,000. We'll do it for 20 years. We're going to factor in a 2% increase and we're going to discount it back at 5% and see what the present value of that $2 million is worth in T-value. So let's jump into T-value. We'll see in T-value we have a present value calculation. Our compounding is annual since we have annual cash flows. Our discount rate is 5%. Uh, whatever you call it, it's really academic, but we'll use the term loan for the event. Whenever you do a present value, you put U on the first line, the present today, number is one, and then we put in our future cash flows. This happens to be $100,000, put 100K in. We'll do it for 20 years. And we're gonna use our special series to factor in the inflation. Here we have our percent step. We'll put in our 2% once per year. And now we calculate and our net present value of the $2 million is 1.466. We go to our amortization schedule. We'll see that our cash flows are 100,000 and then factored in each year, increase 2% to 102, 104, et cetera. Let's do another example of a present value calculation and value a privately held note. Let's say the current note is $60,000 and the payments are $500 per month and the term is 10 years. This would be a family note. And if you do the mathematics, that means that there is no interest on this note. But the IRS says that you have to charge interest and the minimum rate that you have to charge is based upon the applicable federal rate or the AFRs. You also have to use the rate based upon the appropriate term. Uh, since we have 10 years, we're going to be using the long-term AFR rate. At this point in time, it was 3.91%. And we'll figure out what the present value is using T-value 6. Let's jump into T-value 6. So there's our label, privately held note. Compounding period is monthly. We have monthly cash flows. Our nominal annual rate, we said, is 3.91. Whenever we do a present value, we're going to use U for unknown, the present, today, and then the number will be one. Then we're going to put in our cash flows. We said our cash flows would be $500 a month. And we're going to do this for 10 years. We can put 10Y, which is 120 months, and then calculate. <clears throat> and the net present value is $49,594. We go to our amortization schedule. You'll see that the interest offsets the $60,000 to create uh, that balance. So just a summary of our calculations. Always put U on for unknown for the loan line. Uh, use your future cash flows for the payments. And then calculate to determine the present value of the loan. Very simple to do. If you ever need any help doing a calculation, uh, feel free to give us a call, 800-426-4741, or you can email us at info at timevalue.com. Thanks for listening.